Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute cotton shower poofs or puffs, loofahs, whatever you want to call them. They are very easy to crochet. So to get started we're going to need cotton yarn. This is the yarn that I used for these, both of these. So it's called Kobu. It is 51% cotton, 49 rayon from bamboo. So it's a bamboo cotton blend. It is a light weight of three. Now I would definitely use cotton yarn for this, no acrylic yarn at all. And for this particular pattern, it is best to do it with a light weight of three. If you want to use a heavier weight of yarn, like a four, a medium weight of four, you can do it that way also. Uh, but if you follow the pattern, just like I show you, it will be very large. So you might want to just do one less round. I'm also going to use a four millimeter crochet hook and you will need a yarn needle and scissors for cutting. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the rope part, the part that we're going to hang it with. So you have to decide what color you want to use for this. Maybe it's going to be the same color as your poof, or maybe you want to change and make it a different color. I'm going to make mine blue for my rope part. So I'm just going to start it with a slip knot. and then chain 60. So I'll meet you back here when you have a chain of 60. I have my 60 chains. I'm going to chain one more to make that 61. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in each chain all the way along. When I get to the end I should have 60 single crochets. So second chain from the hook, I'll do the first one. It's one single crochet, two single crochets. I'll continue all the way along. I'll meet you at the end and we'll talk about our next step. <clears throat> I'm just approaching the end of this row. I have one last single crochet to make. So now I'm just going to fasten off. I'm going to cut a long enough tail for sewing. Just going to pull that through. Okay, so we'll just put this piece aside for now and we'll come back to it shortly. White will be the main color of my puff that I'm going to make. I'm going to start with a magic circle. And I'm going to chain three. So that was one, two, three. Into this magic circle, I'm going to put 24 double crochets. Now, this first chain three will count as one. So, two, three. Four. Keep going until we get to 24 and then I'll meet you back here. Just finished my 24 double crochets into the magic circle and I did close up my circle. Now before we continue with the white, we're going to have to attach our hanging rope. So we're going to take our rope. I'm just going to put these two yarn tails onto a needle. Just going to go through the center. What I'll do here is sew this together. Now 
So I've sewn my blue piece together. This is the beginning and the ending part of the blue rope. And I just made sure it's nice and tight. I ended it with a knot. And you can just trim it there or you can even take your ends and weave it into, into the blue rope. Just weave it in here, just a little bit. One way and then back in the other direction. I'm just going to move that blue to the back. I'm going to find that starting chain three. So I'm going to find the top of that chain three. Slip stitch. And I'm going to chain three again. Into that very same space, I'm going to put two double crochets. Into our next double crochet, I'm going to put three double crochets. Go to the next double crochet and put three double crochets. So we'll continue that all the way around. We're putting three double crochets into each double crochet from the row before. So we are tripling our stitches. We had 24 in that first round. So in the second round, we're going to have 72 double crochets. So I'll meet you back here at the end of this round. Just getting to the end of this round, you can see that it's starting to curl up around, which it should be. So into the top of that chain three, just gonna slip stitch. And then chain three. So now we're just repeating the same thing. So into that same space, we're gonna do two double crochets. So this is just like the round before. In each of our double crochets, we're gonna put three double crochets. So in this previous round we had 72 double crochets. Now we're going to put three into each one. So 72, I've got my calculator here, times three will be 216. And we're going to do this for a total of five rounds. So we've done one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to start and end each round the same way, just by slip stitching into the top of the chain three. You're going to chain three and put two more double crochets into that same space. I'll meet you back here when all five rounds are finished. And so round three, you're going to have 216 double crochets. Round four, you're going to have 648. Round five, there's going to be 1,944. So I will meet you back here when all five rounds are finished. All right, I'm just at the end of my fifth round. 
And now I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain three. Gonna chain one and just pull it through. To weave in this end, I like to go down to at least where the bottom of this double crochet is, so I won't weave it in at the very top. I'm gonna come through next to where that ending part is. So if I go from the front to the back, that seems to drop that bump down. I'm gonna go from the front to the back again. Then just weave it down. Go in one direction. Turn around and come back into that same direction. And then back one more time. in there. So there we go. Our bath poof is finished. Has this rope on it for hanging because it will certainly need to hang to dry. So you can do them in all sorts of different colors. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and you can follow along with some other great projects. Have a great day and happy crocheting!